It's Friday, it's almost spring, and I'm off to the beach for a week. But first, this is the week that was. I'm your host, Simon Brown. Joining me as we rage through the news is, well, it's the old and the old. Sussman's uh, David Shapiro, no bright commodity. Uh, so, gent, welcome. Next, mm -hmm. start with NVIDIA results. The results were above expectation, knock it out the park, everything lovely, uh, but the market was a bit sanguine. Yeah, I, I don't know, the market, uh, the expectations I think are really unreal. I mean, if you look at the, if you really go through the results, they were just absolutely outstanding. They, they got what you expected and uh, why the market marks them down, I don't know. It's, Simon, it's almost an emotional area. You know, you've got those who like oh, NVIDIA yeah. or missed NVIDIA, there are those who like it and have got it and those who missed it. And it's like a battle, trench warfare between the two. It's, it's a stock on the market, you know. We've own got it or don't own it. <laughs> you own it or don't own it. You don't have to make it an emotional decision and that. But sometimes the bars that they set are almost insurmountable. And I think this is one. And the problem is that there's so many short positions. And this one's not going down. They're trying to get it down, but it's not. You know, from my point of view, at these kind of levels, I'm talking about 115 or lower. Yeah. I'm quite happy to stay in, you know, or As to well. even buy. Mm. Yeah, and, and I must say, and, and the short positions ahead of the results, yeah. Yeah. like 98% of those shorts were underwater. Yes. <laughs> because yes. they, you know. Yeah. So just move on, you know. <laughs> you want to find another share, find another share. But uh, I, it, it's just become too much of a discussion point for a good company. So then I, I was thinking back to August and I was looking at some charts of the month. Do you remember what happened on the 5th of August? The Nikkei 225 collapsed. Yes, VIX yes, went to 65. Yes, yes. And well, the Nikkei is flat for the month. The S&P is slightly green. The yeah. NASDAQ yeah. flat for the month. I mean, we started this month. There were calls for an emergency 100-point yes, rate cut. Yes. And truthfully, if you look at the chart, a line yeah. chart for the month, you don't even see it. No. No. And Simon, we're going into a bull market. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's aligned at the moment in that. Don't call it down. It might not go at the pace you want it to go at. In other words, it might not be at Ferrari pace, but it's going to be at Ford Escort pace if they still make it, you know, those kind of, but it's still going to go forward at that. And I think everything is, is looking good. It's just a matter of being patient and finding the new leaders and so on. I'm still an AR man. Mm -hmm. I still think artificial intelligence is a massive subject and you don't have to get rid of those stocks. But um, f as you said, you know, August, we, we got into a bit of a panic and uh, all, we can't even remember August. No. We, can't, we can't remember the first few no, we're looking forward to yeah. spring. Who cares about August? Mm. You mentioned the bull market. Yes. It is a bull market. And yes. what, because you remember, it was last year, it was a magnificent seven mm. and then 493. Mm. But now it's expanding. Yes. We're seeing breadth. Yes. This local small cap index is at all time yes. highs. I mean, yes. suddenly that breadth is coming. Yeah. This is a bull market. It, it, wherever you look. Yeah. I looked at Except the. Except PGMs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they, they're creating their own problems. <laughs> but I, it's, it's strange that you say that because last night um, I looked at the Dow. Only three stocks were down, yeah. you know, 27 up. And if you look in the S&P and a couple there that kind of knocked the market downwards. But overall, strong, strong gains. And you say, you know, I look at the, I go through the whole breadth of the market on the JSC on a day-to-day -day basis. And those smaller medium caps, boy, if you're in some of them, you're doing incredibly well. For the first time in a decade mm. plus. I'm, I'm in, I'm enjoying. Also making news this week, Powell's magic eight words. The time has come for policy to adjust. A justice minister buys a coffee shop. NVIDIA, as we said, smashes it and gets smashed. Steinhazen appoints the morning coffee guy to much outrage from pretty much everyone. Uh, only 13% of municipalities know how to count. Oasis is back, and the two weirdos will be doing a series of concerts next year. JFK Jr. joins Trump, so now we have three weirdos on the Republican ticket. Results are flooding the JSC, and some are actually good. No, not you, Implat. <laughs> Tencent has a massive hit, and uh, they don't stop when reading, uh, don't stop when thieving to read. But first, let's go back to that Jackson Hole statement from Jerome Powell. Here come rate cuts, September 18 in the US, I own MPC a day later. We spoke about it last week, that yeah. was back of jobs. Jerome Powell stood up at Jackson Hole last Friday after we had recorded, and basically said, we're cutting rates mm -hmm. bar, I mean, I don't know bar what. I mean, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's locked time. and loaded. You know, it, it's, it's time. And I think what I liked about his talk was how he went backwards and admitted yeah. that they had very little idea, you know. And uh, remember transitory, they were wrong. 
It wasn't transitory, although there's some econ economists who still claim this is transitory. Uh, and he recalled what we'd gone through over the last couple of years from COVID and so on. And looking back and saying, okay, we've got to learn from maybe what we did wrong. In the end, they probably did right, but it's time to bring down rates. It's time to get back to growth. And you can only do that by bringing rates down quite dramatically. So, you know. What he didn't say, which, I, which mm. totally plays into your theme, is that, that this was the first real high interest rate, sorry, inflation rates in yeah. 40 years. Yes. Central bankers yes. had grown up in yes. benign inflation yes. in the developed economies. Well, if you go back over certainly the last 25 years, starting in the late 90s, where uh, we had the long-term capital fail, yeah, we, had the we had the internet bust, uh, we then had the uh, crisis, the 2008 crisis, uh, we then had what else have we had along the way, but a lot of crises which have led to those lower rates, you know, keeping rates at uh, historically low levels. So, uh, yeah, this is the first time, and we need to get companies out of that. You know, we need to get people to spend uh, certainly on the fixed investment side and, yeah. and, and get growth in the markets where you have got that breadth of markets. It's not only a few companies that keep us alive, which thank goodness for AI because otherwise we would have not only had a bad 22, we would have had bad 23 and bad 24 with high interest rates. But AI saved us. And it makes a point as you go back, what, 30 years to, mm. to 98. And of course, there was Asian uh, tiger yeah. crisis at the yeah. same time. Central bankers, maybe we should narrow down to the Federal Reserve, Bernanke, Greenspan, mm -hmm. and, and Powell, uh, and of course Yellen in Yellen. there as well. They've actually done a good job. Yeah, in hindsight. In hindsight, But you only, sure. get, you only get rewarded many years afterwards. That's so the beauty yeah. of being old. I, I, I used to curse you know, uh, Powell just weekly, you know, just, just to annoy me. But at the end of the day, they came out right, and we survived. Yeah. You know, we survived, and that's why I think with rates now coming down, what we need to do and I, I, is... Locally, we've got to bring down rates yeah. dramatically. Not little half percents, you know, not give, here's a chappy for you, little boy. You know, you want, you want the whole handful of chappies, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Noted. There's a lot of thankless jobs in South Africa, but perhaps top of that list, absolute worst, Auditor General. Only 34 or 13% of municipalities obtained clean audits. That's for the 22-23 period. Only one metro, Cape Town. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> This drives me mad every year. I know, I know. <laughs> it's it there for you to rave. Because it's so easy to fix. And when you realize how much money has been wasted because you're not keeping proper books and records, that's all it is. It's having a cash book. Yeah. And, the old and you can put down on the ledger, you <laughs> yes. know, backhander, bribe somebody, but yes. keep a record, keep a record of, it. of it. You know, and also keep an asset register. So, because suddenly, you know, the mayor drive buys a brand new BMW or a, a, a Range Rover, what, and it vanishes because it's not on the books, you know. So it's, it's, it's easy. And there are hundreds of retired of accountant, accountants here who would willingly help put proper systems in place, but you can't. We could get a grade eight accounting. Yeah, you can, to do bookkeeping one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is, I mean, I, it's not, it's not my accounting point. ended at bookkeeping one and I could do it. Well, it's the same thing. It's yeah. just, you know, it's just you scale it up a little. It's a debit and a credit, that's all. You know, and that's my, the only way that I look at companies today is bookkeeping one. I look at the cash book. You know, no, no, what came no, no. in, what went out, <laughs> what's <laughs> left over. I quit accounts, I got 120% for my one year and I'm like, <laughs> this looks rigged, so I moved on. <laughs> Our Justice Minister, Tembi Similani, uh, has been implicated in the VBS heist. <coughs> is she alleged to have taken over 500,000 loan to buy a Santon coffee shop? So Cyril has requested a detailed briefing, but you're a whole Justice Minister. Yeah, Justice Minister. Justice Minister. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, at that Not point, she was obviously Limpopo <laughs> and the like, but... and I, just pala pala all over again, but, you know... <sighs> He has to Honestly, there's got to be a level of governance, you know, in the government. And it might have been legitimate, but prove it. But prove it. Yeah, that's all. How hard should that be? How a couple of bookkeeping I, receipts. I, you can't get a loan at any bank without proper documentation, mm. setting out how much you're borrowing, what the terms are. It's an email or whatever it is. You always have to sign. I don't know whether you can sign digitally anymore, mm. but still, there is a document. 
which also sets out the terms. Uh, the company so that gave the loan sure also it. wasn't uh, in, in, in authorized to issue loans. <laughs> no, no, but so. anyway, and uh, the right thing to do is to step down, you know, not to try and protect yourself. Anyway, yeah. I suppose it's a big job with lots of money, lots of perks. Yeah, it's hard to give it up. And a coffee shop. And a coffee shop. I always wondered what a coffee shop cost. Turns out half a million. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> not so bad. <laughs> Before the break, Tencent is back, baby. Their latest game, Black Myth Wukong, became the second most popular game ever on Steam with over 10 million sales in three days. Are we missing a trick with NASPASS and Process? No. <laughs> why? I, I, I don't know why. I... Maybe because of the buybacks, maybe because of all the other issues, there's this disconnect. Yeah, because there. we've got process selling, yeah. we've got ten cent yes, buying. Yes. So I don't know. It's very difficult to actually uh, measure it, even though ten cent still makes up a huge amount of the underlying value of those businesses and that. But I'm not one of these who keeps that kind of ongoing discount, you know, because there's a discount on a discount and it's, I, it's, it's a I complicated issue. I used to have a spreadsheet issue. and Did my spreadsheet you? just died one day. It was <laughs> like, I can't do this. You know, I don't know where they are anymore, how many shares they're buying back. How much, but I, just, I just go with the flow. But then what about this pure Tencent? Buy it in Hong Kong. You know, I, I'm, st yeah, I'm still a bit concerned. I'm still a bit concerned when I watch, when I watch the PDD, what's it, Pinduo Duo and Metuin and all of these. Metuin's done well in that, but there's still time. I'm still concerned about the authoritarian kind of oversight of the, of, of, of the tech sector and of Chinese business. You know. I'm just watching it from a distance. So you're in the camp with others, with governors there, yes. who basically say China is cheap, look at Alibaba, yeah. but it is just not yeah. investable at this yeah. point in price. Simply because we haven't got the confidence that they can do what they want, that businesses can do what they want. I don't understand those games. I know I read what no, you I said. This is that. why we're missing Bright, you know. I'm sure that he's got a much better... He's probably played it. He's probably <laughs> racked up points know. already or stuff. I, I, I went to Steam. <laughs> I looked at it and it was like... Oh, yeah, the know. last time I played a, a game was probably Donkey Kong or something like that. Mine's Civilization. <laughs> Civilization 7 coming out next Feb. It's going to be real. Yeah. After the break, it's company results, the great and the ugly, and a literate thief. That's Greek gods for you.